Chessophile Show. Chessophile Show. Chessophile Show. The Chessophile Show. Now we'll go to the next question. Rooks should be placed behind the pass pawns, either yours or your opponents. What is this mm -hmm. rule known as? I you know. know. <laughs> okay, now you are in a bind. Peter <laughs> is very familiar with this rook endings. It could be him also. I can rule out Tarash rule because uh, Tarash, I have never heard anything in endgame. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so okay. Cabo Blanca is famous for his endgame pace. Mm -hmm. I have seen many rook, end mm -hmm. rook endgames of him. Also, Philidari has con con composed many portions in rook endgames. Mm -hmm. Like this. Uh, uh, rook on f5 while uh, the rook on e, let's say rook on e8 pawn on e6 and the rook on f6 for black and the, you give the check in this no that's one kura no uh -huh. okay so ankit yeah. knows the answer it seems i think so if, uh, okay of course not 100% sure but i think i can make an uh, good educated guess okay lasker 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 i never heard him in in game rules mm hmm uh, but are you aware of any Lasker rule, Ankit? Lasker rule, no, to be honest with you, no. Okay. Okay, okay then I think I can eliminate that uh, option then. Maybe I've just said it to confuse you, you never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I feel it's just like uh, an help. Uh -huh. to, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really confused now. Maybe okay. the. Okay, I'll just think. Lifelines, which are still not used, you have Google and yeah. you have an option to eliminate wrong choices. Mm -hmm. You can call your friend for help or you can pass mm -hmm. the questions. Okay. If none of them suit you, then I offer the host lifeline, which is to flip mm -hmm. the question. So what does it uh, flipping mean? I mean, flip the question. Flipping means you will get another question in place of this question. Think the question is a lifeline or not? It's an excess, like it's an extra. Okay, okay. Uh, now I'm, I don't know what to do. I really want to take a guess, but... Uh, okay, let's say if I say Capo Blanca, mm -hmm. and uh, I if it's wrong, and I eliminate the past question, mm -hmm. and uh, let's say I say Philidor, mm -hmm. and if yes. that's... You, <laughs> Yeah, and if, <laughs> if that is also wrong, then what will happen? <laughs> two lifelines gone. If that oh is also God. wrong, then you will lose two lifelines. You will ah, still yeah. have to make uh, two. Okay. Which could be enough for your and, uh, uh, next two questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I think it's better to use one lifeline rather than uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think you should use, because three questions and four lifelines, right? I think you should. Yeah. Use. I'm, all, I'm almost sure it's either uh, Cabo Blanca rule or Philidor rule. Okay, okay. Because uh, I, I, I have heard names of Philidor and Cabo Blanca in many games. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know. I might be wrong as well. So, I better... I so, Karthikan is doing like, uh, who is the actor in this Tamil movie? So, I have seen <laughs> Ajit movies and Karthikan movies. So, one of them actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go for some lifeline. Okay, which lifeline would you like to use? I will say maybe Google. You will ask Google for help. Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. So we'll go with. Uh, okay, lifeline. I'll go with Google. Yeah. So Google. So, okay. Kartikeyan has chosen uh, to use Google for help, and we are letting him yeah. do that. Googling. Uh, Google anything, right? Yeah, you can Google anything pertaining to this particular question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, I, I saw it. I, I think it's uh, Tarash. Yes. Oh, you, okay, that's what actually. So it is Tarash. Ah. Yes. And you ended up <laughs> first actually. So I was like, okay, even you should use the line. Ah, thank God that I didn't guess <laughs> it. <laughs> so because uh, Tarash said this, rules behind the pass phone. I didn't know he said that in front of the opponent's pass one or something, I knew that Tarash said rook behind oh, the pass. Oh, okay, that okay. I knew actually, that saying okay, was... Okay, okay. 
I just knew that there's a rule be a rook be in the first one. I don't know okay, who okay. told it or okay. why they told it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As as chess yeah. players, I think it's just good to know um, you know uh, the rules. But uh, yeah, but <laughs> but you know, in a way, if you remember who made them, who formulated them, it's also good for the chess culture. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, uh-huh. of course. Like tomorrow, I say uh, the queen sacrifice. Then we can say Karthik and Murli is queen sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like uh, this Nesbudino is queen of six. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we can call it India. India's Nesbudino, you know, Karthik. No, and no, no, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll now go to the next question. Which grandmaster invented a time control method with time delay okay with time delay i know that answer bronstein very good yeah how how is it that huh? you got this no, answer because, uh, because in the chess clock you know just uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. the delay system it's there yeah yeah it will be there yes yes <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay Actually, I have not come across a clock which has the delay option. So, play clock does not have it. Let me just. I think this. Uh... Let me just check the delay. Ah oh, no, 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 no. They are not mentioned delay. So maybe I have, I may have come across somewhere else actually. I, I think. Uh, uh, can you show the clock? I think. Uh... Uh, this one I have. This one. Yeah. Ah, oh, not this one. Uh... Okay. So this one. So mm-hmm. I have this one. The Friday. Uh... the dgt so DGT. okay i think this is the latest one i yes, think yes. they don't have in this the, uh, in the older ones they will so yeah. the delay time control is there but they have not mentioned this mm-hmm. as the bronstein one but somewhere i had come across mm-hmm. the bronstein yeah of course otherwise you would have not answered it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> so these questions are arranged in the order of difficulty. So I was uh, expecting oh, this okay. question to be very difficult. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I By think way, this was very easy. Uh, which time control Fisher proposed? Which fish... time control? No. Uh, Fisher, that... I think uh, increment. I think. Yes, ninety plus thirty. Yeah, oh, increment. Yeah, yeah, yeah increment. Increment is suggested. Yeah. Increment is suggested, but I I thought you were asking which specific time control Fisher. Ah, uh, okay. he suggested the okay. increment. No, no, increment is of okay. course the Fisher one. So because yeah. what happens in Bronstein mode is also more very the delay system in US tournament, right? In St. Mm-hmm. Louis and all they apply this uh, rule. So I think in commentary I may have heard this. Mm, so maybe yeah. Some of the yeah. tournaments they apply this delay in top. Very good. I mean, mm-hmm. you got uh, that answer very quickly. Now we jump yeah. to the next section, which is mm-hmm. the chess puzzles section. Okay. What is the name of the tactical theme used mm-hmm. by Black to win? In this position. Mm-hmm. In this position, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mean I need to find the answer and mention the team as well? Yes, correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so first of okay. all, I'm also trying to find the answer because it is. Yeah, a- that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, is is it a uh, win? I can see it's clear advantage, but oh uh, yeah, I cannot also. I'm trying to find a win somehow, but uh... yeah. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think Ankit has got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He has a king. I don't see a king yet. Yeah, no, no, no. This king is there. Yeah, yeah. okay. So at least I found the answer. So. Mm-hmm. Um, So what the tactical theme is? Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First, let me guess. The, I mean, let me be sure of the answer first. Then I will. So okay, just uh, since you are on the puzzle, just I want to. So you have the highest world record of survival, right? Yeah, um, yeah. So just mm-hmm. I want to make a mention that right now on chess. dot com they have the mm-hmm. puzzle rush in that they have survival mm-hmm. mode. So mm-hmm. currently, Karthik and Murli holds the. Highest number of survival puzzle yeah. puzzle record that is two hundred sixteen puzzles, and mm-hmm. just to show the dedication of him, he mm-hmm. used to do one or one two hours every day, and it took him at least three weeks to do that. Yeah, so, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, actually, I was not uh, hoping to make a record. I was okay. just uh, I, I was like uh, working uh, daily, so I thought I will do that as a warm up. For okay, okay. Uh, for an hour or two, yeah, okay, okay. So it just record happened. Uh, you were yeah, not. Yeah, I was not even from that. Yeah. No, no, no. That's actually really nice. Many yeah. times actually, just 
casually doing stuff can uh, yeah that's what uh, even during the game uh, if you don't play for uh, any kind of results exactly. or outcomes then you will win yeah no no very good actually yeah. i didn't know that back story but okay mm-hmm. good i am really confused with seen 9 to d3 or rook d1 here okay maybe uh or even queen to d4 and rook d1 <laughs> oh my god all <laughs> <laughs> okay i think queen i think queen e4 is not i feel queen okay. e4 is not the answer so mm-hmm. uh it must be knight d3 but knight d3 queen of g of a and king of one i don't know whether it's that's clearly winning or not mm mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I'm really confused now. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, of course, that's better for black, but uh, I don't know how much uh, advantage black has in that yeah. position. Okay, okay, okay. So I was just uh, thinking whether there's better option apart from ninety-three. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You and, have time, uh, and you also have lifelines. I wish to remind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a phone of friend would be a really good option now. <laughs> now yeah, yeah, I think I have to go for a phone of friend. Yeah, this I one. think this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Maybe I'll go with Prag. Prag Ananda, okay. yes. Ah, Prag yeah. Ananda. Okay, very nice. Yeah, okay, that will be fun. Yeah. yeah. Prag Ananda is one of the uh, guests for one of for our future shows. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I am in currently in the Chesapeil show, man. <laughs> <laughs> so they asked me to name the friend whom I wanted to call, and I mentioned you. So you're on yeah. the show now. Wait a second. So uh, I I have a question for you. So you have to answer that. And help Karthikeyan pass this test. Yeah, uh, and you have to may, uh, help me in, the, in passing this test. So this is the position. It is black to play. So it's black to play. So what is the question? So question is what? What is the name of the tactical theme that is used? to in this portion you have to find the answer first then answer the team pragnananda is thinking okay, is uh, uh, prag is telling pin is that your final answer prag first let us see the answer uh, the move okay pra- pra- uh, first you will t- uh, you need to tell the answer what you are thinking right? okay prag is also thinking knight d3 Uh-huh. Okay. White will so, probably go with queen into f5. So black will go with queen into f5 then. White will go queen into f5 then. Ah, knight e1. Ah, okay. Yeah, knight e1. Oh, yeah. this is double check. Uh, maybe double check. Maybe something like that. Knight e1, bishop into e1. Knight e1, bishop e1. Then what will black play? Uh, when? After knight to e one, bishop to e one. Bishop to e one. Yeah, rook to e one and g f five. Yeah. So what is this theme called? Well, so what is the theme called? After rook to e one, g f five. Rook to e one, g f five. No, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Knight into d three, queen into uh-huh. f five, and their black plays knight into e one, which is the star. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? So so knight in d3 queen f5 and king moves knight e1 right? Ah yeah. oh, okay. Yes. So Maybe now. So what's the theme of this move after playing knight e1? Okay, this theme actually. Okay. okay, I think I got it there. Okay. No, I didn't answer, but I thought I will call you and uh, it's it will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the answer then. Yeah, I think now I know more of the theme. What is the answer? I think it's intermezzo maybe. It's intermezzo, but what is the yeah. German word? Are I told na nah, Kartikeyan uh, along with zigzag I use some other word. Ah, right? I think it's uh, zigzag zigzag. Ah, okay. That's zigzag. But yeah. that's not uh, that's not that don't apply. It's just not applicable here, right? That's so this is an intermediate move. Ninety so one. Before ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninety one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so the so the theme is zigzag. I don't know zizag. how to pronounce yeah, that correctly. Yeah, intermediate move yeah. or intermezzo. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I will have guessed it for sure. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you, Pragnananda, for, for your time. Yeah. <laughs> All the best. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. So Pragnananda somehow saved you in this round, and you also saved yourself. Yeah. 
by uh, so i think <laughs> what happened was initially i thought it must have been the double checkmate a double checkmate that night of three double check is coming yeah, yeah yeah i also thought yeah. something like that but so but okay. then when you when you put emphasis on night into e1 right then mm-hmm. i thought oh, okay okay that's good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i thought it must be interview so because this one say it will uh, it will come for two two three times right Oh, yeah, that, but this is only for, for one time. That is only yeah. interviews. I think inter we can interchange for that uh, German word for interviews. I think that's yes, same. yes. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That was fun. But okay, very. It was fun. No, no, it was very much fun. So. Okay, so we will go to the next question now. And the next question <laughs> is to Grandmaster Ankit Rajpura. What is the name of the tactical theme used by White to win? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! This is I. Oh my God! I know this. This is some dancing something or I don't know. This is like check after check after check after check. If yeah. four options are given, then for sure I would I know. But uh, yeah. No, I, I think uh, I know this. Sorry. There are two names to this theme. I want both the names. I know that this uh, discover check after one after another after another. No, I think this is not discover check. I think this is something else. I think no, I this is that. that is uh, this is that famous. Uh, the answer I know. Bishop F6, Queen H5, Rook G7, then F7. You take then B7. Yeah, that, yeah. Then take and then finally you play Rook G7 check then Rook G5 Rook H5. Mm-hmm. I know that mm-hmm. name is of course. So I think I'm sure. So that discover check is. So Karthik and Murli knows the answer. Yeah. Oh, so you know the theme name as well. Okay, very good. Yeah. So you have lifelines. Yeah, I can use phone of friend, right? You can use phone of friend. Okay, let's call fire black. <laughs> okay, Karthik and Murli again showing his black match. <laughs> okay, okay, let's call okay. fire. I- yes. Yeah. So Ankit is now going to call Grandmaster Swayam Mishra. He's from mm-hmm. Orissa. He's also a very good coach. Mm-hmm. Um, are hi. I am on the Kesho file show of Niranjan, and uh, I am using that phone of friend lifeline. So you have to bail me out. So, <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll send you a position on WhatsApp. So you don't have to tell me the answer. You have to tell me what is the name of the tactical theme used by the white team. So I'll okay. just send you. I'm just sending you now the situation. Um, yes, I have just now sent you on WhatsApp. So the thing is, what is the name of the tactical theme in this position? This why it is used. Uh, I'm not sure. It's either uh, Bengal Tiger or uh, I think it's Wind. Sorry. Wind Mill. Wind Mill. Wind Mill. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wind Mill. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that is the correct answer actually. Niranjan has just verified. Yeah. Okay. I I think it's X-ray and windmill maybe. Yeah. No, not okay. X-ray. There is another name for this theme. Okay. Ah, okay. Thanks. Mm. Okay. Bye. <laughs> so windmill is right. I will take that as an answer. But just for your information, it's also uh-huh. called seesaw. Okay, seesaw. Oh, seesaw. Oh. I don't know this. Okay, okay. No, so like rook G7, rook F7, rook G7, ah. rook G7. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like I thought uh, it's. I thought they will call this as X-ray and windmill. That's why I thought the those two are the answers. No, X-ray is uh, the typical example for X-ray is when white white has mm-hmm. let's say king somewhere, but white rook on a8 on pawn a7 and black rook mm-hmm. on a1. So rook h8, rook into a7, rook h7 is an X-ray. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you see what is inside. That is what X-ray mm-hmm. is. Ah, okay. In okay. that line. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so mm-hmm. because you had already uh, mm-hmm. seen the first episode, uh, mm-hmm. I thought if I just give the same checkmating pattern, I would have easily mm-hmm. answered it. Yeah. Well, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. I think some changes. Yeah, Now uh, that was the end of uh, let's say the tactical segment uh, mm-hmm. where you had to find the name of the tactical theme, and now mm-hmm. I'm coming to let's say uh, the toughest or the easiest <laughs> question of this format. <laughs> The first question is to Karthik and Murli. So, why to play? Why to play and win? Mm-hmm. At first, it looks easy, but not easy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> oh my God! You cannot solve this in a minute. 
what yeah. <laughs> no 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 this is very i i have found the answer but not in a minute you cannot find mm-hmm. it yeah. this is mm-hmm. this is mm-hmm. and especially with okay the oh it's a, it's a really good idea uh, okay, nice so i'll i'll just show my king for the sake of it of course but okay okay but this is where no, is your king are man okay no can you see it now yes yeah okay mm mm-hmm. No, no, but this is not at all an easy position to do. Mm-hmm. Actually, I did have a, a discussion as to which okay. position to give to Karthik and Murli. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, the position uh-huh. I had chosen uh-huh. for Karthik mm-hmm. was okay. already solved by Karthik. So he okay. had already uh, solved it. But how did I get that info then? I uh, I yes, already solved it. Sources. He has his insider sources. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then fine. <laughs> We have chess file uh-huh. files. Mm-hmm. Okay. It will be interesting. So I think uh, it should be some of my friends who <laughs> who ratted you, who ratted you out, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. This, this is very interesting. This, very, it's not easy life. for me. This no, I think you is... need to see the team and the that last move is absolutely beautiful. Actually, only yeah. people can compose more. Good study. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. really nice so we can see the relaxed ankit here yeah hand it tends to kartik in here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is also a good uh, this is also a good opportunity for the viewers you know to take mm-hmm. a look at the position and think for themselves yeah i think yeah. if you want they can pause pause it here and then try to solve it mm, yeah of course uh, ah yeah i got it i got it oh, you got it very see see yeah knight d3 uh-huh. yeah Oh, no, ninety-three. Okay, very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I was missing that move. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so what is the answer? So ninety-one. Ninety-one. He takes a four. Mm-hmm. Knight b two check. Mm-hmm. King c three. Mm-hmm. And knight d three. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Knight d three. Okay. And king takes yeah. d three. And rook s three and rook d three. Yes. Yeah. That is yeah. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so anyway, I don't answer? think in one minute it will be difficult to find this answer. Ah, oh, it can be, but sometimes uh, you know oh. you might miss moves like ninety three yes, yes, very yes. easily. So yeah. I think it is uh, in. So you, of course you can solve it, but one minute uh, then when mm. pressure is there, it is difficult. Yeah, that's very difficult. Yeah. Okay, now comes yeah. the next question, which was actually meant for Karthikeyan, uh-huh. but okay. now comes to Ankit. This is white to play and win. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, okay. this one. Okay, yeah. Okay. So now Karthikeyan also gets to know the source. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was showing sure black king first. <laughs> oh, then you are giving me more complicated things. <laughs> no, actually, oh, okay. you know, I yeah, I understood why you what you meant by your sources, but I he showed me this question mm-hmm. and he asked me to solve within a minute. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. But uh, I took I think two to three minutes for this. I mean, I I I solved the main answer, but I was not sure of the other variation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think I already gave enough clues for Ankit. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> the problem is that he is simply threatening to play G takes a three and G one queen. Mm-hmm. So my mm-hmm. options are, for that reason are quite limited in nature. I cannot. Uh, mm-hmm. I have to do something immediate at least. I cannot. Yeah. Oh, I am I am considering the most natural move in this position, just saving the knight by playing knight G one. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the one line which I have calculated is, of course, king f2, then king f4, king into mm-hmm. g1, then king g3, and king h1, bishop d4, and that will be a. Mm-hmm. No. Very good. King f2. No, that will be a draw. Mm-hmm. That will be a draw. But of course, the point is not king into f2. King f1 is the most critical move actually. Yeah. Yeah. So king f2 is easy to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Of course, because the most critical thing. King G one, King G three, King H one, Bishop D four. Okay, that is draw. So King F one, I have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Because I think Knight G one has to be the move. Otherwise, how can I stop G S three and uh, G one Queen? Because he is two mm-hmm. moves away from making the Queen, and I need to make three moves to stop him from making the Queen. In, in case I don't mm-hmm. have the Bishop, in case mm-hmm. I don't have the Knight, because I'll have mm-hmm. to number one move my F pawn, 
number yeah. two, I'll have to move the king, and then my bishop will come to d4 or f8, c5 like that. Yeah. I think I'm in time to sacrifice the knight and then do something. Mm-hmm. Um, it is by the process of elimination. I'm going for knight g1 move. So mm-hmm. let's say if it doesn't work, then I'll I'll figure it out from here. So king f king takes f2 is a lot more clear. Simply king f4, king g1, king g3, mm-hmm. king h1 or f1. Then bishop d4. So g1 queen, bishop g1, king g1, king g4, king h2. So that no, is no. <laughs> so what the first? Okay. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'll I'll just see if there is a win or not. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just at least preliminarily. Um, mm. That is what my instinct says. Mm. So, but again, let us just knight uh, g1, king king f1 is more critical. Let me just go for that directly. Mm. Then it. Okay. Ah, uh, so king f1 again. No knight, knight e2, knight f3, knight f3. I don't think it works. And uh, mm-hmm. some f3 moves. So king g1 and one second, king f1. Yeah. You know some. You know something. I thought the exact way you did now. Okay, okay. Ah, same <laughs> thing you did. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, first, uh, at first, first I was confused whether this is draw or win. Okay, okay, okay. Then I found what was the result. Then okay. I found the most. So first of all, what my try is to so not to lose the game at least. Let's <laughs> okay. Find something in King F1 which is not losing for me. Then I will decide whether to go for the win or the draw. Mm, okay. Because after King F1, I'm just trying to look for the way to mm. at least avoid losing the game straight away. So, mm. but in any case, I think mm. King F1. If I play, then uh, so let me just see. So, but king f1 the small. If I want to draw, let's assume in that. So king f1, mm-hmm. I'm calculating f4, king g1, king e4, king h2, bishop d4, g3, f5, g1, queen, king g1, f6. No, king f1 easy draw. I have if I want. So I don't think mm-hmm. draw is the thing. I should go for something more than a draw. Yeah. So, yeah. Because yes. at least I'm seeing this. The first move which has come into my mind after king f1, f4, and at least easy draw. So I don't think mm-hmm. draw is the one. I should try to fight fight for the winning game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay, at least that uh, that one thing is there. No draw. Mm-hmm. Now, so first of all, let me just figure it out. Some I'll just stick to knight g1 still because I feel mm-hmm. I, I I should try to make it work. I'm not able to yeah. find something. So knight one king king f2. Let us. That seems to be more easier one. Mm-hmm. Let's try to see how can I win in that. So, oh my God! Very nice. Knight h3 check is coming. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> all right. And then, okay. So this one part of the solution, Niranjan. Knight g1, mm-hmm. king f2, mm-hmm. knight h3 check. So if okay. king, then king f4. So if g1 queen, then bishop d4 check. If king g2, mm-hmm. then bishop into g1. So now yeah. the h3 pawn is protected. So if right. my opponent plays king into g1, then I'll play king g3 and then take the h3 pawn and win the win the. Yes, correct. Mm, yeah. So, but mm-hmm. again, this is not the complete solution because king f1 is also equally important move to be considered. Yes. Yeah. I have to find the. And again, just to show that why after king f4 knight h3 is not working because after g into h3 the pin mm-hmm. on d and the diagonal is not there anymore. So he's mm-hmm. able to move the pin. So knight h3 move I cannot make work in this. Mm-hmm. Just for the viewers, viewers sake actually. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. No, I think I'll I'll take a clue. So what do you think, Karthik? Uh, so actually, uh, initially when you are not uh, sure of whether it's the win or draw, uh-huh. you said uh, okay at least I have this move and uh, I I can make a draw. Oh, But, uh, that was correct move. Okay, so I had to consider. <laughs> like, oh my God, I just, I just didn't consider f4. Okay, okay, after yeah. that, I just gave up on that. Yeah. So let's see. So f4, if I say, so I think the only move king into g1. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, f4. Why did I not consider only move which so king d4? King uh, where? Uh, I think king d4. If I put, then uh, mm-hmm. king. Uh, let's say king goes somewhere. H2, bishop d4. Yeah. And uh, queen, queen, and so queen takes king g1, f5, g3, f6, mm-hmm. g2. And he's in time. No, oh, but he's in time to make the queen, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. No, 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 no. So improvise. Improvise. Yeah. <laughs> Four and then king into g1. So this is the this key is position. The, this is the key position. I have to mm-hmm. take the key position. So f4, king g1. G1. He's on time. No, if I go for the traditional way of bringing the bishop, then it's a draw. So because he's yeah. on time. Mm-hmm. So okay, no first. Uh, no, I I am not in time. Uh, okay, I can play king. I can start with king f5 actually. Try to take his pawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, king f5. Yeah. Then uh, if I play king, if he plays king h2, then I can mm-hmm. play bishop d4. Mm-hmm. 
in the mm-hmm. given queen then um, of course takes takes and king g4 so i have to calculate g3 mm-hmm. and king g4 is coming after that okay. and if g1 queen or if king h1 then uh, king g3 g1 queen then bishop into g1 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so no that is winning actually right for white yeah, yeah. So, oh that's a four Oh, I just simply missed. Okay, it was not. Yeah. Simple. I just did not consider it for afterwards. I decided. Yeah. No, that's what. Yeah. I initially you told okay. I, I yes, also have four and I will make a draw. Okay. But after that you didn't even consider it for this. Yes, yes. I was laughing. I, I just yeah. simply missed my candle. So again, yeah. the lesson to learn is again don't uh, <laughs> back to the basic sort of things. Why should I? Yeah. Go okay. Oh no, no, very okay. interesting. <laughs> Okay, that was good. Uh, with some help, you were able to do it. But the main point was yeah. to solve the king into f two knight h three back. Uh, yeah, knight yeah. is uh, not. Uh, yeah, that was nice. Very yeah. common actually. That so you did nice. that, so you get uh, full credit in that way. Okay. <laughs> that was the end of the chess uh, study. <laughs> Now okay. we have one last uh, segment, which is the the real battle, which is <laughs> puzzle battle. Please, puzzle battle is on. Yeah. Two each so far. The young kid is is leading by a point. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's not easy. It just moves. Yeah, yes. Sometimes. Also, not be not easy when you are on the chess file show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> fun as well too much pressure <laughs> after Much higher than uh, what happened previously, right? Yeah, yeah uh-huh. could be. Okay, rematch. I'll do rematch, right? Yeah. yeah.
doing this uh, battle drill only. I will be doing this survival. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I was doing this before, but after the survival came, I think I just jumped in. opportunity to uh, mm-hmm. to both of you like mm-hmm. if you had um, if you had to thank somebody or say uh, you know some things about somebody you want to remember someone or mm-hmm. you want to just uh, like uh, maybe talk about something which you wanted to mm-hmm. share with others you can use mm-hmm. this platform so do you have any message to tell your friends or you want to mm-hmm. thank uh, somebody you can use this platform so you can uh, we'll go with kartikeyan first mm-hmm. Yeah, um, actually, uh, I was struggling financially in 2017, mm-hmm. uh, and I got this job from Indian Oil. So I want to thank them first because okay. you know after getting the job, I was really happy and uh, I I could concentrate uh, more on my career now. Okay. And uh, and uh, I want to thank my uh, coach Ramesh sir first. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, I mean of course parents are always first, but after that, uh, I want to thank uh, my coach Ramesh sir. Okay. uh and uh, you know now uh, due to this corona uh, we are suffering now mm-hmm. uh, inside inside the home but okay for this place it's normal but i don't know about others <laughs> yes uh so just stay home and stay safe don't go outside unnecessarily uh and uh, yeah that's all i think uh, that's yeah, all, yeah okay all right so we'll go to ankit <laughs> also as as i had mentioned earlier i i want to thank my uh, specifically my mother because of which i think mm-hmm. oh, i am where i am and mm-hmm. uh, apart from that there is as uh, kartik and mentioned finance mm-hmm. also plays an important role because mm-hmm. uh, to reach at gm level you cannot do that without uh, just mm-hmm. you have to spend uh, a lot of money for that to play tournaments for high level coaching so i want to thank uh, the adani foundation who has been mm-hmm. my so even during tough times they have been with me and uh, mm-hmm. that is they are um, they are the key reason for especially uh, preeti adani ma'am who mm-hmm. always stood by me and uh, not only financially but also psychologically when i was down she was motivating me mm-hmm. so um yes the this both and apart from this because in this uh, tough time so um, i would i would say that uh, we are trying our best in this corona virus to um, to do it but i think it is more in our hands to by staying at home and playing our part rather than uh, so it's important that we play our small part and to make our country more safer and so that we can bounce back as soon as possible and get out of this uh, trouble so that uh, the life can become normal for uh, uh, you know crores and crores of people which has mm. been disrupted because of this so mm-hmm. best wishes for them and let's hope that the 
we we stay at home and uh, mm-hmm. for us as well as the lesser unfortunate ones yeah you have a chance here mm-hmm. to nominate another chess player to come to this show so i am going to give you options i mean mm-hmm. uh, choose one option each okay so mm-hmm. kartikeyan who do you mm-hmm. think could be uh, a good uh, guest on this show who would be the uh, guest on this show in the future uh okay i would say prag but prag has already agreed so yeah. i won't say him uh i mean it's a really difficult question okay i i like to nominate arun but i know about him so he won't like he, he doesn't yeah. like giving he doesn't like giving interviews he doesn't like to be in social media more oh, i mean Ar- arun uh, has like, declined it already yeah, yeah, yeah so i uh, i don't know it's really tough. me no maybe i would suggest vaibhav suri vaibhav suri okay yeah i mean i, I know him very well uh, so i think uh, he'll be a very good choice aha uh-huh. okay what about you ankit who would you nominate swams mishra swams mishra yeah okay that is an interesting suggestion yes let's see if they also come uh, to one of our shows in the future yeah so from my side mm-hmm. to kartik and murli for being part of this show i mm-hmm. declare him yeah. as the deserving chessophile somebody who okay, loves thank the you game very much mm-hmm. thank you thank you and then to ankit rajpara mm-hmm. that you are also a deserving chessophile and no okay. uh, no thank you very much for uh, thank you <laughs> maybe you can <laughs> take a print of this and you know Keep it oh, yeah. Once the once yeah, the launch is over, I'll I'll sort of you know like the other certificates I'll uh, yeah yeah print it, laminate and uh, keep it in my collection. Yeah, so sure. even in your yeah, tough sure. moments, you know you can just look at the certificate and see. Okay, I was part of something which uh, loves chess and it has exactly. connections. Yeah. Yeah. It will also be yeah. as a reminder <laughs> that, mm-hmm. you know, in your tough yeah. days as mm-hmm. well as in your <laughs> bright days exactly that you were mm-hmm. part of this show. Mm-hmm. So okay. I hope uh, you liked being on the show. What are yeah, your of thoughts course. now? Now that you are on the show, let us start mm-hmm. with Ankit. Mm-hmm. What are your impressions? It was a really good impression. I think it the show was a good mixture of uh, having fun and uh, yeah. instructiveness and a lot of things. So I mm-hmm. think it was um, it was how I how I thought it to be. So mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, I think plus I think no surprises because you came prepared. Ah uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. In general, I in general I like to I like to be prepared before him. So mm. that's uh, yeah. that's to avoid any unpleasant uh, surprises towards me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, Karthik? And what are your impressions and thoughts? Yeah, it was really nice, uh, really fun, uh, fun show, and I really enjoyed it. It was good. So I hope you both enjoyed. Yeah. Like you're saying. Mm-hmm. No, exactly. We had uh, yeah. we enjoyed quite a lot. So now no, it was really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we can now call it an end. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah okay so thank you for being on this show and accepting my invitation uh, and thank, thank you for you inviting uh, thank you for inviting yeah us. thank you for inviting us yeah yeah okay it's really fun yeah it was really fun so stay safe take care and we'll yeah. be yeah yeah mm-hmm. okay chessophile show chessophile show chessophile show the chessophile show